I now seek to take further steps to simplify the tax administration, ease compliance, and reduce litigation. Relief to senior citizens. I begin my direct tax proposals by offering my pranam to our senior citizens. Many of them, despite having foregone several basic necessities of their own, have strived to build our nation. Now in the 75th year of independence of our country, when we continue our endeavor with renewed vigor, we shall reduce compliance burden on our senior citizens who are 75 years of age and above. For senior citizens who only have pension and interest income, I propose exemption from filing their income tax returns. The paying bank will deduct the necessary tax on their income. Reduction in time for income tax proceedings. This is a very key announcement for you if you ask me. Honorable Speaker, we have launched the One Nation, One Ration Card Scheme through which beneficiaries can claim their rations anywhere in the country. Migrant workers in particular benefit from the scheme those staying away from their families can partially claim their ration where they are stationed, while their family in their native places can claim the rest. I'm happy to in inform you that One Nation, One Ration Card Plan is under implementation by 32 states and union territories, reaching about 69 crore beneficiaries. That's a total of 86% beneficiaries covered. The remaining four states and UTs will be integrated in the next few months. To further extend our efforts towards the unorganized labor force, migrant workers in particular, I propose to launch a portal that will collect relevant information on gig workers, building and construction workers, among others. This will help formulate health, housing, skill, insurance credit, and food schemes for all migrant workers. We will conclude a process that began 20 years ago with the implementation of the four labor codes. For the first time globally, social security benefits will be extended to gig and platform workers. Minimum wages will apply to all categories of workers and they will all be covered by the Employees State Insurance Corporation. Women will be allowed to work in all categories and also in the night shifts with adequate protection. At the same time, compliance burden on employers will be reduced with a single registration and licensing and online returns. Financial inclusion. To further facilitate credit flow under the scheme of Stand Up India for the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and also women, I propose to reduce the margin money requirement from 25% to 15% only. And to also include loans for activities in allied sectors uh, in, the in allied activities in agriculture. We have taken a number of steps to support the MSME sector in this budget. I have provided 15,700.